As you said, it's going to be hours before all this flooding goes down and continues to be dangerous out there on many of those roadways, including Allen Parkway, uh, much of which is closed and will re remain closed tonight. Let's check in with David Gonzalez on the banks of the bayou there, giving us a vantage point from Allen Parkway. Hey, David. Hey guys, so let's quickly just go out to the, our camera so you can kind of see uh, there's some cars that are kind of just making their way. You could tell that their vendors probably going into the Freedom Over Texas, uh, what were supposed to be the festivities to gather probably some equipment, some gear. We've seen a lot of people making their way to this area um, right after the announcement that the festivities would be canceled today except for the fireworks. But if you look at, at toward the center of your screen, you could kind of see um, you can kind of see what David Paul has been talking about, the, talking about, excuse me, those manhole covers that are kind of spewing water. The one here in the center of your screen, it was much higher uh, when we first got here, but you can see it slowly, slowly starting to recede. But if you if you pan out, you can kind of see more and more of those manhole covers in this area that have are spewing water. Uh, we're going to pan this way so you can quickly see some of these cars making their way through this intersection. We're at Allen Parkway and Taft and water has been gushing through this area for hours now. All this water trying to get out of the out of the way, like we said, making its way to the bayou, the bayou here completely uh, doing its job. As we've mentioned, it is pushing the water out as best as it can. Uh, all this water here on the roadway, just sitting here uh, gushing into the bayou as well. My photographer, Greg Hamilton, kind of described a waterfall of sorts um, of water that is kind of going over the banks, falling 20 feet into the into the actual bayou. When it comes to the flooding though, we have seen already some of the damage that it can possibly cause. That Johnny Steele dog park that just got renovated, a lot of money went into bringing it back for the community after Harvey. We drove by it and it is underwater once again. Uh, but I guess that's just one of the things that happens when you build a dog like that right next to the water since this area is prone to flooding. But when it comes to the street right here, you can see the manhole cover doing its thing. It is spewing water, um, all this water making its way into the bayou itself. Uh, we have seen a lot of people now that the rain has kind of stopped a little bit come out to kind of gaze and look at this water as well but of course we're asking people to be extra careful because we do not know what's under this flooded water we have parked here we're not making our way in our way any further just to be safe because as we know the water is gushing from these manholes but we do not know if there's any holes out there anything like that that can pose a danger for us or